What is going on everybody? It is me again. It's HorrorFan34 and welcome to another video. And welcome to another review for the 31 Days of Horror Challenge in October that we are on day 26 of the challenge. Now this is going to be a really weird one for me to review because I'm always used to holding something up for the review. But surprisingly enough, I don't own this film. I want to get the Screen Factory Blu-ray of this at some point. I just haven't gotten it yet. And uh, I definitely need to get this for my John Carpenter collection because I, for like John Carpenter films, I own Halloween, uh, like the films that he directed, like Big Trouble in Little China. I have They Live, The Thing, of course the original Halloween, um, Ghost of Mars, and Vampires, and <clears throat> like I own quite a quite a few of his films. Uh, but I don't own this one, surprisingly, and I really need to get it at some point. But if you can tell by the title of the video already, that review is going to be on The Fog. Now, if you ask me uh, if I had to pick my favorite ghost story kind of like film, I would choose this one. Because there's a lot of really good ghost story films. Like, I really enjoy the original Haunting from the 60s. That's a really good ghost story. The Changeling with George C. Scott poltergeist it's a go one the original poltergeist i mean there's a lot of really good ghost story movies <clears throat> but if i had to choose my favorite one it'll be this one because john carpenter really i want to say boy i probably say this is my second favorite john carpenter film behind big trouble in little china because john carpenter what he really brings to this film is a wonderful atmosphere and creepiness that you don't really get in many horror films nowadays which is sad but if you don't know the idea about the fog it's basically about <clears throat> you know many years ago and there was these po these uh got people on a ship they were looking for gold and uh, uh something ended up happening to their ship that made that made it crash because a colony tricked them into thinking there was gold and they made their ship crash and things like that so they all died, and then it's many years later, and then this fog, you know, comes back on this coastal town of California, and then these people that are the stars of the film start seeing the, the ghosts of the people that from many years ago haunting the town. And this cast is phenomenal when you look at this cast. You have Adrian Barbeau, who I'm a huge fan of, Adrian Barbeau, from Escape from New York, and uh, Creep Show and... Uh, I mean, just a lot of other stuff, Adrian Barbeau. You have Tom, uh, Adrian Barbeau plays a radio DJ, Tom Atkins. One of the few, I think one of the only few times that Tom Atkins doesn't have a mustache. Tom Atkins, another great actor. Halloween 3 and Lethal Weapon, uh, Night of the Creeps. <coughs> I mean, just a great actor, uh, Tom Atkins. Uh, he plays a guy who uh, used to be a fisherman. Who ends up picking up a hitchhiker played by Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, of course, the original Halloween, Halloween 2, Blue Steel, House Arrest, uh, what else? I mean, Terror Train, True Lies. I mean, really great actress, Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, really like her. Trading Place is another really good one. You also have Hal Holbrook, who's a guy who's a priest. Hal Holbrook, another really solid actor. Rituals and Creep Show and a lot of other stuff. Really good actor as well. And then you also have Janet Lee from the original Psycho <clears throat> as like not really the mayor of the town, but she's like one of the head people of the town. But she's not necessarily the mayor. Great actors as well. I mean, and what's really interesting about this film too is it's really. Not, there's not really a star of the film. What I mean by that is it's an ensemble piece cast. Like, I guess you would say you kind of think maybe if you had to choose one, it's probably Adrian Barbeau's more of the star, but it's not really that at all either, you know? It's kind of more of like an equal balance among all these actors because it is an ensemble cast. And all of them do a great job. I mean, it's a great cast. Adrian Barbeau, Tom Atkins, Jamie Lee Curtis, Hal Holbrook, Janet Lee, and, and even... And y y you know, 
what kind of film you're getting into with a great atmosphere and a mood where in the beginning of the film you have uh, John Houseman from the original Rollerball telling this campfire story about what happened years ago and he really does set the, set the mood for the film. <coughs> and also one of the other things too that really makes this film really, really work is the musical score that John Carpenter did. Uh, I mean, John Carpenter, you know, did a great job with the musical. I mean, the musical score fits the film perfectly. It gives it a really great balance of atmosphere, creepiness, and he has some really good special effects on the fog itself. And and John Carpenter's direction is just off the charts in this. I mean, I'm a huge fan of John Carpenter as a as a horror director. Uh, I probably I'm trying to think of who's my favorite horror director. I probably say it probably might be John Carpenter, unless I'm missing somebody else. Yeah, I probably say John Carpenter is my favorite horror director. You know, really enjoy vampires and. Uh, this film, the original Halloween, They Live, I mean, Big Trouble in Little China, Prince of Darkness, uh, I mean, just a lot of other really good stuff that he did, and I, this is definitely one of his top best movies, in my opinion, I absolutely love this film a lot, and like I said, this cast does a great job, Adrian Barbeau is great, uh, Tom Atkins is great, I, I know... I know this is going to be kind of, you know, I don't know if you guys would agree with me on this, but I, I, <clears throat> I've i heard that, I think I've seen parts of the interview with Jamie Lee Curtis, um, where she, where the interviewer on the Screen Factory Blu-ray of The Fog, uh, and I know she really hates this film, and it, it, Jamie Lee Curtis as a person, I haven't really, maybe it's, maybe it's all rumors, granted I don't know, but... I don't know. I, I I've heard Jamie Lee Curtis is not really the best person to be around. I don't I don't know that for a fact. I mean that's only rumors, but like everywhere I hear, I hear Jamie Lee Curtis is not really the best person to be around. I mean, granted, I don't know. Like I can't, I can't you know <clears throat> confirm that or not. I mean that's only rumors. But from what I've heard about her, and eh, not really sure about her as a person. But like I said, I could be wrong. But uh. And it just seems like, you know, every single film she did, she does, she's not really a fan of, like, un unless it's, like, Halloween or, um, or Trading Places or something like that. But, like, I'm thinking, like, Jamie Lee Curtis, like, the films that you hate, I, I respectfully have to disagree with. I mean, you did a lot of really good stuff other than, you know, Trading Places and Halloween. Granted, they're great movies, too, but Halloween 2 is great, and Halloween Resurrect uh, Halloween Resurrection, H2O, I'm sorry. I know... I know she's not a fan of the fog. I know she's not. I know. I don't know if she really was much of a fan of Terror Train. I don't really think she's even a big fan of True Lies either, which I don't get that at all. It's like, you know, Jimmy Lee Curtis. You know, you have every right to your thoughts and all that stuff, but uh, I, I don't know. You know, uh, I mean, True Lies, Terror Train, and things like that. I, I love the films too, and. I'm sorry, I would rather take those films other over Halloween Resurrection. I, re I would rather take that over Virus, which I was not a fan of either. I mean, you... I mean, I mean, granted, it's your opinion and all that stuff, but I just don't agree with it. I mean, I think you, you've done a lot of really good stuff. Like I said, Halloween, Halloween 2, H2O, The Fog, and Terror Train, Blue Steel, Trading Places, True Lies, and... And I... I, I I mean, granted. I mean, I don't, <clears throat> I don't, I don't really, I, I don't, I have to respectfully disagree with her on, on her thoughts. But you know, she has every right to her thoughts and all that stuff. But I think she's really great in this as well. Um, and I, I, I do like her honesty. I do give her that. I give her credit for that. She is very honest about her work, which I admire. Um, but enough of me rambling about that. But it's not really a film that I don't really want to spoil too much of. But. If you want to see, like, a top ghost story film, I'm sure a lot of people have probably seen this already if you're a big horror buff. But if you have not seen the original Fog, it's great. Great music, atmosphere, creepiness, a great cast. Very solid direction by John Carpenter. I mean, 
just the effects on the fog itself and things like that. It's such a well-made flick, and it's such a creepy ghost story. So I would highly recommend you check out... <coughs> sorry. I would highly recommend you check out uh, The Fog. Please avoid the crappy remake that came out in 2005 with Tom Welling. Please. It'll save you a lot of headache. But... And also, too, I really, I really like Adrienne Barbeau's character because I really like her voice as the radio DJ. I think it fits it really well. And the other cast members do a great job as well. So, anyways. It's not really a film I can't really talk about too much because I, th I think it's a classic, in my opinion. But I hope you guys enjoyed my review for The Fog. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time.